The next question on this worksheet is now adjusting for price changes. So what we're given here is we're given a uh, bunch of different prices in different years. So like Babe Ruth's salary in 1927, the median household income in 1950, the price of gasoline in 1979. And what we want to do is we want to see what are those real values in 2020, meaning that we want to inflate these values to see, okay, if Babe Ruth was making $70,000 in 1927, how much would they need to be making in 2020 to have the same purchasing power? The same thing with median household income in 1950. What would the median household income have to be in 2020 to have that same purchasing power and so on? In order to solve this, we need the CPI values for all the years that we're interested in. My students were given a PDF file and I attached the BLS information uh, at the end of that PDF file. In the uh, description of this video, I will put both a link to that PDF, but I'll also link directly to the most recent CPI data so you can see where these values are coming from, uh, from the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics. But for now, I'm just going to put down the CPI values that we need. For all of them, we're going to need the CPI uh, in the year 2020. And if I look this up on the BLS, the uh, average annual uh, value of this CPI is 258.811. Again, that number tells us nothing except for how it is related to the base year. And in this case, the base year is actually a range of 1982 to 1984. Uh, and that just means that prices have gone up by 158.811% since the base year. It doesn't really tell us much else. What we want to do is we want to find the CPI of 1927. I'll need that for this first one. And if I go to the uh, sheet again in the BLS, 1927, I'll get 17.4. We'll need the CPI in 1950 for part B of this question. And if I go to the data on the BLS for the CPI values, I'll get 24.1 as 1950. And last but not least for part C, I'll need the CPI in 1979. And again, if I go to the data, I see this is 72.6. Now I have everything that I need to solve this out. So let's go ahead and do it. Well, how do I solve this? If I want Babe Ruth's salary, so Babe Ruth is a Major League Baseball player, arguably the best Major League Baseball player ever. So if I want to know what Babe Ruth's real salary would be in 2020, meaning that we would adjust the 1927 salary into 2020 dollar terms, what I would do is I would say, okay, well, the Babe Ruth in 2020, which is what we want, is always going to be the amount that it was before 1927. And then we multiply it by a ratio of CPIs. And it's always the CPI that you want. So in this case, CPI 2020 divided by the CPI that you uh, of the data that you have, which is 1927. And that's always going to be the case. It's always going to be the case. So with this, my answer is going to be $70,000 multiplied by the ratio, which would be 258.811 divided by 17.5. Four. We plug that into our calculator. Again, I'm not going to spend time uh, doing calculator things on these videos, so you can just trust me or plug it in yourself, and you'll see that we get $1,041,193.68. So this is what that 1927 salary would be able to purchase in the year 2020. And if you know anything about Major League Baseball and what people get paid now, Babe Ruth was severely underpaid. Uh, of course, the game has changed a lot since 1927. Almost 100 years ago, there's a lot more revenue that the sport brings in now. What about our next one? Well, median household income in 1950. Well, if we want it in 2020... That means we're just going to take what it was in 1950, multiply it by CPI, what we want, which is 2020, divided by the CPI in what we have, which is 1950. And so again, we're just going to say my answer is equal to, in this case, 3216 times, we've got 20 or 258.811, that's my CPI in 2020, 
Now I'm looking at my CPI 1950, which I pulled as 24.1. And we are going to, again, plug this into the calculator and get 34,536.77. So again, the median household in 1950, the same purchasing power, if we adjust everything just for inflation, would be about $35,536 in the year 2020. Last but not least, let's look at this price of gasoline in 1979. We know now, we don't have to do all the steps, we know that what we want is always going to equal what we have, which is 86 cents. And we're going to multiply that by the CPI of what we want, which is 258.811, divided by the CPI that we had, which was 72.6. We plug that into our calculator, and we are going to get approximately $3.07. So there you have it. That's how we use the CPI data to, uh, you know, kind of move money from one year to, to the next. We were taking everything and putting them into 2020 terms, right? But what we could do is we could go backwards. I could change this into any year as long as I have the CPI data. So again, in the comments, uh, sorry, in the description of this video, I will make sure that I post the link where you can find the CPI values and also the PDF uh, that I gave out to my students for this. And you can obviously always feel free to reach out to me uh, if you do have any questions regarding this material.